Okay, welcome back everybody to um, our next episode and we are going to finish this epic, epic storyline and um, go into the gates of Grethor. We are on the barge of the dead where we left off from the last video and it's going to take us to hell, pretty much. Before I do that, I want to put on my new armor I got. That will help. You see, my um, health is 448. When we take that off, my health is 408. By putting this on, it uh, brings my health points up to um, 448, so I have better health now. And I have a health regeneration with it as well. So that is a very, very good armor. I'm probably, definitely going to need it. All right, here we go, the Gates of Grethor. Grethor itself is yours to conquer. Face the specters. This is where we have to go face those specters that they talked about. Cowardice, treachery, and dishonor. So, very Klingon. Uh, oh, and death. And stop Molar from returning to the land of the living. So he's dead. He wants to come back to the land of the living. we got to stop that. Alright, very, very spiritual kind of thing here. Um, and this is where we get the sword that I was talking about. Alright, so... I mean, you can choose to get a personal energy harness, or a uh, Polaron full auto rifle, or a Klingon Batleth, but why would you want any of that stuff when you can get the freaking Shard Sword of Kalos? <laughs> and it's so freaking awesome. It's not just a very rare item, which is purple, it's a gold item, yellow or gold, or whatever color you want that to be. It uh, basically, or orange, I think that's supposed to be orange but it's really kind of yellow, goldish. Um, anyway, it's the sword or shard sword of Kalis, and it has, all right, you know how uncommon items have one modifier? That's um, green. Um, rare items like these have two modifiers. Very rare items have three modifiers. You can see here, you've got uh, critical damage, critical chance, and um, uh, damage on this one. Well, this one has four. You have critical chance, critical uh, severity or damage, and then damage times two. So it has four modifiers instead of three. It's the absolute best damage thing you can get. Basically you have a better critical chance, a better critical severity, and then uh, damage times two on top of that. It has 80% shield penetration. Wow. So this is a really, really, really awesome um, sword. This is what you want. This is why you're playing this mission. You're playing it to get the shard sword of Kalos. There's no other reason for it. Alright, um, so here we go. Now we get to enter the gates of Grethor. We're basically going to the Klingon Hell. We made it, Captain. The gates of Grethor are just ahead. The Feklari will not let us enter without a fight, and I for one welcome it. Booked passage. Let's see, we got a thing here. You traveled on the barge of the dead, so I got an accolade for it. <laughs> Yay. The Faklari will not let us enter without a fight, and I for one welcome it. Come, let us join the spirits of the barge in glorious battle. Oh, great. So we gotta help the barge crew defeat the Faklari. Two groups. But at least I'm getting all of the barge crew. I'm getting all um, 30 of the barge people. The barge people, is that what I can call them now? Is this where I get off? Yes. Oh boy, here we go. Oh yeah, oh, that is so awesome. Is that not awesomely grand? Oh, here we go. This is a big battle for Star Trek Online. Look at all this stuff going on here. Is this not just awesome? Barge of the dead people really helped me out a lot there. That could have been really difficult. Oh, he's saying, I shall open the gate for you. Oh, I missed what he said. Um, let's go back. NPC, I shall open the gate for you, Captain. Uh, the Feklari will want to stop me. You will have to keep them busy. Oh, great. Okay. So it takes a while for the doors to open then? <laughs> Is that what he's saying? Oh, I've got to protect him. I wanted to look around, but I haven't had a chance. I need to protect him, I'm guessing.
Yeah, he's got a war. Oh, he's got a. Oh, look at all those switches. He's got to like flip every switch or something. I wanted to look around. There's the barge of the dead I came from. This is just epic. This is awesome. Look at that. All right, I gotta stop this dude. Come on. That dude. Oh, security escort. Okay. I've leveled up now, so I get security escorts. Hear something happening. Oh, the thing is opening. What did he say? That should let you into Grethor, Captain. Your destiny awaits. Oh, thanks. Now can I look around? So there's the barge of the dead, and it's it's blood water, literally. Blood water. It's blood water. And this is a huge door. Neat. This kind of stuff you don't see on the Federation side, do you? So I guess he had to open these switches in the right direction. I can't flip them. Move gate. Oh. Nice. Oh, there's a whole lot of Fecklari inside. <laughs> yeah, let's take care of him. Tortured souls aren't too difficult to take down. This is awesome. The whole place is on fire. It must be really hot in here. I've got to defeat the specters and their minions. Now, where do I find the specters? No idea. Oh, okay. All right, I gotta figure out what the specters are. See if it has, oh, okay. I'm in one of them. Oh, here we go. Oh, specter of cowardice. I am the shadow of fear. I am the dark hand that clutches your heart and closes your throat before battle. I am the doubt that forces you to flee. I am the anguish of the damned who die in their beds. I am cowardice. Look upon me and tremble. He looks like it. If you think you have enough steel in your soul to survive, summon me and face your destiny. Um, summon cowardice? <laughs> and pray? I'm not afraid. Okay, there's cowardice. Hey, he doesn't look that bad. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage, though. Uh, not dying very fast. What kind of pose is that? He's like, I'm cowardice. <laughs> that sword hurts. Oh, he can do fire too. Hey, I defeated Cowardice. That wasn't too bad at all. <laughs> they healed my support rope. Okay. Well, that wasn't bad. Let's go over here and deal with another one. Um, alright, I gotta defeat another Spectre. I've gotta get in the circle first. See what Spectre we're gonna deal with this time. Oh, I hear something going wrong. What the heck is that? Ah, oh, here we go. I am failure and I am regret. I am the challenge not given. I am the falsehoods that drip from your uh, tongue like poisoned honey. I am the insult accepted without response and the warrior who dies in captivity. I am dishonor. 
know me and surrender your spirit to despair. Face me like a true warrior or experience blish. Summon dishonor. Okay, there's dishonor. Oh, he can do fire too. That's nice. And I'm taking damage. Hordling needs to die, he's driving me crazy. Alright, there we go. Oh, he's doing his pose again. I am dishonor. Wish I had a bat left right now. <laughs> my, my horde is like jumping all over him. Hey, okay, that wasn't bad at all. Took some damage early on, but not too bad. All right, we got. It said we had four to deal with. I only see three circles. I guess death is maybe beyond the next one. Uh, let's see what this one is. I gotta delete all the delete. Deal with all the little hordlings first. Gotta delete them. Come here, you little hordling. Let me delete you. You are deleted from the stone. Let's see if there's any more back here. Deal with them. Says there are. Yes, there we go. Okay, I believe it's clear. Now we can summon the last one. Let's do that over here, away from the fire. Okay. Spectre of Treachery. I am the blade in the back. I am the whispered rumor that destroys honor. I am an alliance with an enemy. I am the victory won without honor. I am the plot that harms a fellow warrior. And the soul sold for latinum. I am treachery. I live in the darkest part of your heart. Alright, summon me, you sniveling patok, and face your destruction. Summon treachery. Oh, oh, wow. Had no chance to <laughs> get away from that. He, like, shot fire at me. Oh, I gotta go all the way through again. What? I thought it was gonna respawn me inside. Respawns me outside, apparently. Well, I did cowardice, I did dishonor, I'm still working on treachery. At least I don't have to do them all over again, that would have been terrible. Why do they all do that little pose? Sweet. 
I dealt with three of the specters. I only have one more to go. And I believe that's death. That will not be fun. And then I still have to deal with uh, the, the big Feklari guy. Because I gotta stop Molar, or whatever his name is. I gotta stop him from rising from the dead. Alright, let's go deeper in. Isn't that always how it goes? Wow. Hi, everybody be on the lookout. I have no idea what to expect. Except it's really hot. Uh, Captain, I'm detecting someone in the chamber. We have to be cautious. Defeat the final challenge of Grethor. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Slave Master. I sense a big fight coming up in this room. Uh, I've got to confront Molar. Oh, here he is, Molar, and he's got red eyes. Warriors of the Empire come to challenge me? Bah, I see the hand of Kalos in this. No matter, you cannot defeat me. Even now, my Feklari spread chaos and death throughout the stars. Soon there will be an ocean of blood, and there will be nothing to stop me from returning to the land of the living. If that feckless clone can walk the sacred ground of Kornos again, so too shall Molar. Soon it will be Kalos who will have to spend an eternity burning in Grethor. May he suffer every indignity that I have suffered and more. You will die and I will have my revenge. This is a glorious day. Oh, here we go. Molar. Oh, he made me choke myself or something. He's got like Jedi powers. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage. Oh, he's not too difficult. Defeat Molar. He's not that difficult. That was really easy. No. Oh, he's doing a Darth Vader on us. No. It cannot be defeated by a mortal. I will have revenge. Actually, you will not, because we never see you again or hear from you. Ah. Alright, now you have one final challenge. Another one? Whether this abomination was spat out of the pits of Grethor or created by an unholy use of science is of no matter. It must die. When you are ready, we will proceed, and our blades will create a song of death and glory, the likes of which has not been heard for a thousand years. Huh? Okay, ready. Have no idea what's going on, but I'm ready. Are we back on Boreth? Are we still in Grethor? Uh, good question. Explore your surroundings. Well, I'm in a hallway made of fire and lava. And it cannot be good for my lungs. This doesn't look like the way to the shrine. It's getting hotter. If we're going, if we're back on Boreth, I think we're moving closer to the <clears throat> heart of the volcano. Unless we're still in Grethor, which is my guess. Is that Kalis up ahead? That bodes well for being back on Boreth. Maybe he knows what's going on. The music changed. It got all happy. <laughs> Talk to Kalis. Kapla. I see the change in your heart, Captain. You have faced cowardice, dishonor, and treachery, and live to tell the tale. You have looked death in the eye and not been cow... Uh, cowed? Uh, I didn't think I was cow, but okay. I am honored to fight at your side. You are truly one of the greatest warriors of your age. Thank you! It's about time somebody realized this. 
Feklar himself has been made flesh, and he is in the room ahead. Oh, great. Feklar himself? Whether this abomination was spout, spat out of the fiery pits of Grethor or created by an unholy use of sciences of no matter, it must die. Join, yeah, didn't you already say that? Join me in our place. So we've got to take on Feklar himself. Enter the Feklar's lair. Oh, great. Is it this way then? we got to go take on Feklar himself. This cannot be good. But he's been made flesh, so that means he can die. And I got Kalos on my side. That's always good. Oh, little minions. Or links. Slaved horde links. It's hard to see with all the smoke. I guess in Klingon tradition, I should be using a Batleth, but I'm not. I probably should be though. But hey, whatever. If you want to, go for it. It's so smoky, it's hard to see. Oh, here he comes. I will savor your blood like the finest wine. I am chaos, I am death. I am Feklar! And there he is. He's pretty big. There he is, doing his pose again. At least he's focused on somebody else. Where'd Kalis go? Oh, it's Kalis. Kalis is fighting him. doing a Davidian thing where he sucks your life essence. All I see is an outline of it. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Fire bad. Feklar bad. Kitty Kitty's dead. That sucks. Go, whore to go. Boy, he's taking a long time to bring down. Oh, 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 get out of fire, get out of fire, get out of fire, get out of fire. Yes, we got him. That was a glorious battle. I salute you, Captain. You are a hero of the Empire and a true friend. I am honored to be in your presence. Thank you. Now you know the truth. The sword of Kalos is just a sword. Its legend is its power, and that power can sway the Klingon heart, or even the Empire itself. I must ask that you leave the sword on the shrine to be guarded by the clerics of Boreth. Although I know you would use it well, I do not believe that anyone should have to carry such a terrible burden. The power that the sword represents, it has been too much of a temptation for even the most honorable of men. But do not be disheartened, I have created a new blade for you, forged in the fires of the Kristak Volcano, and cooled in the Lake of Lusar, like the original. 
it will show all who see it that you are deserving of honor and glory. Be well, my friend, and know that it is my fondest wish to someday fight by your side again. Captain, I did a scan of Feklar's remains and I have found something interesting. There is a unusual residence signature and it has only been recording at archaeological sites where Herc technology has been found. But the Herc have been extinct for a thousand years. This is something I would like to look in further, Captain, but it would be a long time before we have only definitive answers. Captain, can you hear me? You're fading away. Holy crap, they've never answered this question about the Herc and the technology and the Feklar. My guess is the Iconians. Iconians have to be behind it. Who else, right? Alright. That was it, man. We're done. And we are back at Moreth. Talk to Kalis. You're awake. You have the heart of a warrior, Captain, and I have to commend you. There are few could have faced what you did and lived to tell the tale. Jim Pock waits for your victory. Perhaps you should return to the High Council and report what has happened. Beam up the ship. That's it. We're done with the Feklari. We met Feklar himself and defeated him. He was made flesh. That's interesting. Let's turn this in real quick and then we'll talk about that. You battled Feklar himself? I once thought him the stuff of children's tales. Now someone uses technology to bring those legends to life. This is not the end of the tale, Captain, but this, is, but this chapter has come to a close. Now we must learn who is using our own mythology against us. I will contact you if I learn more. And he never contacts us because we never learn more. <laughs> or we never learn more because he never contacts us. Until then, I congratulate you as a hero of the Empire, Kapla. So, what other weapon are you going to get when you do this mission but the Schwartz Art of Chart of Kalis, the one that he could just created for us? Durr. We can take a look at that. I'll uh, have to show you on the ground, but um, we'll put that on and um, see if we can uh, go to Kronos here. I'll show you what it looks like. So, that's the whole Feklari storyline. Four episodes, four missions. And um, unfortunately, it's never followed up on. Um, so we learn here that the Herc, Herc technology, has resurrected Feklar. However, the Herc have been extinct for a thousand years. So maybe somebody is using Herc technology to resurrect Feklar. The only people I can think of is the Iconians, because they're messing with the Federation, with the Undine and all that. They're 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 messing with the Federation. So why not mess with the KDF too? So I think it's the Iconians that might have used the Herc technology to resurrect Feklar. Okay, that's my theory. But, unfortunately, this storyline has never been followed up on the KDF side. So as much as the sto um, Iconian is a lingering storyline on the Federation side, here we have Feklar and this whole thing on the KDF side that's never, ever, ever, ever been followed up. No new missions. The only new mission that's been created for the KDF side since... Um, the, these original missions that came with the game, game is Alpha, which we're going to play next. Um, but it has nothing to do with any of those storylines. It's actually a Romulan storyline. Um, so it doesn't follow up with anything. After that, the rest of the missions, we've played them all on the Federation. The Vault, Mine Enemy, Frozen Coliseum, Cutting the Cord. All of those are um, the Romulan fe featured series. And then after that is the Jim Hadar one, Second Wave of Bajor. You played all that on the Federation. And then the Breen Invasion, Cold Call Out in the Cold, Cold Comfort, Cold Case, all that's. And then again, the Undine, same thing. Assimilation, the Return, Fluid Dynamics, Light and Dark, all that's on the Federation. So that's it for the unique KDF storyline missions. There are no more unique KDF storyline missions. All you had was bringing down the house. The house always wins. Second star to the right. Keep your enemies closer. And uh, then you had um, the Feklari. You had Blood of the Empire, Destiny, Afterlife, Gates of Grethor, and then one more we'll do called Alpha. And that's it. It's like eight, nine. There's only like nine unique KDF episodes. So you can see that when the game first started, and you started as an ensign in this game um, originally on KDF um, or Lieutenant or whatever, it was very low level. Um, there weren't enough storyline episodes to um, get anywhere, so um, basically you had to grind. So that's why, where all that uh, stuff comes up about KDF and people, you know, they've never finished the KDF storylines. Everything else has just been a basically a repeat of what you can do on the Federation side. 
Uh, right, I'm here because I want to show you the sword. So let's equip the sword. There it is on my back. You can see, look how awesome. That's very detailed. It's a very detailed sword. So let's pop it out here. That is just really nice. So that's the sword you want. Um, play that mission, get that sword. And it levels with you. It's auto-leveling. So when you get to level 50, it will be a level 50 equivalent. Right now it look, doesn't look good on the specs because I'm only uh, Captain 34. But when I get to level 50, it will be at its full specification. So it does level with you. Very important fact. Okay, so there we go. That was the whole Feclari. Leave comments, let me know what you think of that storyline. I think it's one of the best storylines in this game. Um, and I wish the Federation had some stuff like that, but... Um, Alright, so the next mission, we'll, we'll do Alpha, which is uh, the last unique KDF mission that exists. And, um, but we'll do that, and, um, and we'll go from there. I'm going to keep leveling this character. See, I'm right almost at 35. To play Alpha, I need to be 34, so I can technically play it right now, so we're fine. So that's what we'll do in the next episode. So stay tuned, everybody, and thank you so much for watching and being patient with me. We will get more of these videos out. i got a lot to do. So um, thank you so much for watching.